Well, we're going to see if we can make a fire out here in the boonies with just a little bit of stuff that I brought. Tuna fish can. Break off some little twigs. Pull off some of this fine bark off the tree. Like that right there. It's actually a pretty nice day down in the trees. Okay, I brought along some hand sanitizer for the alcohol and a little fire starter cube and my handy sharp <coughs> spark and sharp. And that's what I'm gonna use to light the fire with my magnesium fire starter. Before you start your fire, need to get a little bit of kindling, little tiny stuff. I'm going around breaking the ends off these little twigs sticking out on these limbs. You gotta have a little bit of kindling before you get your fire started, otherwise you'll lose your fire before you get your kindling. So, we'll just go along here and break off a bunch of these little limbs. Alright, let's go see if we can make a fire. Okay, I got my uh, little bottle of hand sanitizer here. And then also some uh, fire cubes there. A petroleum product, you kind of rough them up, tear them up, get them started. They burn about 600 degrees for about two minutes. I buy them at the gun shows. There's my little can of goodies there I got off the tree, my kindling. <laughs> There's my 14 inch blade old hickory butcher knife. Okay, we're gonna take our hand sanitizer here. Squirt a little bit of it down in my kindling there. Put a little hand sanitizer down in there. Then we have a fire starter cube. It's a cotton ball with a bunch of petroleum stuff in there and it's kind of ushy and gushy and makes a mess out of your fingers but you got to kind of tear it up to make it work. Now I'm going to get my uh, spark and sharp out of my pocket. That'll be that one right there spark and sharp. Tungsten carbide. V-notch sharpener, the one I call the open face. And we unscrew the handle, one-handed. <laughs> There's the magnesium. I'm going to start that magnesium, that fire with my uh, spark and sharp. I hope. You can't see it, but it's burning. I can hear it and I can see the snow melting away. She's hot. Ha <laughs> ha.
Well, you know, I guess I wouldn't freeze to death out here. Got a pretty good wind blowing. When this gets going a little bit, what I'll do is what I tell people at the gun shows, fish your tuna fish can back out of there. Don't burn it up. Now there's all kinds of stuff that you can use for kindling if you're around some trees. I guess if you're out hunting, hiking, camping, fishing. Unless you're down in the Arizona desert and then you better take something with you. Be prepared. This uh, bark on this old Quaker tree. Actually, there's a lot of it. And you can break off limbs. Like I said before, get your, your fire start and stuff ready before you actually get your little fire going so you don't lose your kindling. And if I was going to pick a place to hunker down for the night it wouldn't be out here sort of in the open. I'd hide better in the timber down in a hole somewhere. Any idea what makes the hair on your hand look like this? Well, I guess it wouldn't freeze to death as long as the wind wasn't blowing too hard. And of course, if I didn't have the camera in my hand. Handy Sharp Knife Sharpeners. Handy Sharpener at gmail.com. Find me in Northern Colorado, Southern Wyoming at the gun shows. I'm Brad Buckner, Handy Sharp Knife Sharpeners. What a beautiful day. I'll see you later. Bye.